everyone, Letty here. Welcome to hashtag Doodlebug December. This is the crafty collab video. I am using Doodlebug's Hello Again collection. I made some mini slimline cards that I'll go ahead and share with you today. So welcome back everyone for hashtag Doodlebug December. That's a collab hosted by Helen, Alma, and Cheryl. We use Doodlebug each month. I've already done a ton of Christmas projects for Doodlebug Christmas, but I will show you those at the end for this Doodlebug December for a new project. I use the Hello Again to collection. This is a collection that came out this year in 2023 by Doodlebug. I had purchased all of these items at the Not Too Shabby Shop. I do have an affiliate link that I'll link down below for you. I think this was one of my favorite collections that came out this year just because of the bright pinks, the blacks, the gold foiling. I also brought in the odds and ends, which is like the ephemera pieces. You can't really tell very well on this uh, picture or camera, but it does have a lot of gold foiling. Um, and these are just a little bit of the close up of the images. Again, it says gold foil there. So, and then I also brought in the chit chat, which is like the words and phrases. And I have a bunch of scraps in here, so you really can't tell there, but they're just really, really cute. And they do have gold foiling as well. And then I also brought in the stamp set that coordinated with this collection hello again um, and I used several of the little images the butterfly one of the flowers one of the hearts and then I also used the sentiment that says you brighten my day and so I used that for the inside of my cards and then I also brought in the gold heart puffy shapes um, these are the gold hearts uh, part of the collection I think these were just really fun so again hello again by doodlebug and what I did was I made eight mini slimline cards I had just done a tutorial that I'll link down below or at the end. Um, and this is just so you know, this is one of the size of envelopes you can use for mini slimlines. I cut these at the Dollar Tree. I'll show them again at the end. Um, but these are some mini slimline cards. They're so super easy. And so I added, there are my images that I colored, add a little bit of additional little dots, uh, and then the sentiment. I did bring in an extra die that had I had in my stash to just to do die cut out the mats. So again, this is for the hashtag doodlebug December. And these are my eight mini slimline cards. I used two big sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock to make my bases. And then I just cut out two sheets or two mats from each sheet of six by six. And then um, I added some ephemera and then some additional embellishments. And I think what I'm going to do, because I have restocked my Etsy store, I have uh, made all of the listings active and I'm going to continue to stock it. But I think what I'll do is I'll send these cards as a thank you for my first few orders. So those were the cards I made then for hashtag doodlebug Christmas. This was at the beginning of the month. I co-hosted with Helen and Teresa. My day one was easy gift card holders ornaments. Um, so what we did was we did a project each day for the, for one whole week from the third to the, through the ninth for day two, I did ephemera cards. So these were the seven projects I did. Day three was Hershey's candy bar sleeves. These are so super fun. I haven't sealed them down yet, but I have them around a candy bar so you can get an idea. So these are on cookies and cream candy bars. And then day four was cards using the Crafty Mama Diary sketch number one. This is one of Helen's sketches. This is her first one. I really like this sketch and it's uh, one where you don't have a lot of scraps. So I really, really enjoy that. So I did add some scraps and things on the inside. And then I was also able to bring in my small dot embossing folder on this one, used up some scraps mats that I had in my stash. So those were project four. Project five was easy Polaroid cards. So you basically have like a Polaroid sort of look and then you just layer on some ephemera and some sentiments. And then I did do a stamp sentiment on the inside as well as some additional scraps and a piece of ephemera. So these are so super easy. And I love that you get four cards from five sheets of paper. Then day six was a six by six pop-up gift card holder. I This was one of the classes that I taught at our in-person event earlier this month. So I went ahead and made one of these. They, they stand really well. You can put a gift card, you can write a message. Message. They're so super fun. I did bring in the tag paper on this one, which is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I think it turned out okay. Day seven was mini slimline pop-up gift card holders. I changed up the size and I did mini slimline size now. So you open it and it has the gift card that pops up. So super easy. And then what I love is that it also fits in these same envelopes that are three and five eighths by six and a half. I got those from Dollar Tree. So again, those were the two collabs that I wanted to show you today. And again, I'll have my Etsy store. It's back to being active. It's restocked. I'll send those cards out as gifts so make sure you check out the hashtag doodlebug december so you can see what everybody who's participating in this collab made as well as the hashtag doodlebug christmas for our projects from earlier this month happy holidays and happy crafting